Ciao Michi, hi bonjour à tous, welcome back on my channel, I hope you're doing great. I can't believe we're like in fall season, I feel like a month ago I was wearing like skirts and shorts and now I have to put my scarves and my coat but it's fine even though I love summer and the heat, I also like fall just to dress up kind of layering and I love the makeup look of fall so today for sure if you read the title it's gonna be on this makeup look so it's kind of a fall vibe I went with a bright lipstick um, so it's basically uh, from the new makeup collection from Selena Gomez so that's the whole <laughs> product that inspired this makeup look which is a liquid lipstick so I went with kind of a plum color as you can see for fall a little bit of smoked out on the eyes the plum color on the lips and of course a glowy skin I love glowy skin, I love highlights, so I really hope that you enjoyed it. And yes, fall is officially started. It's crazy how time flies. We have to adjust our makeup and our closet uh, according to the change of season. So enough blah 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 and I will show you how I did this makeup. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. Mwah. <laughs> So I'm gonna put a little bit of lip balm to moisturize my lips because I feel they're a little bit dry. So the first step, I'm actually going to use the Huda Beauty Warm Brown Obsession. I went with kind of a brownish eyeshadow palette. I tried to pick something really neutral, so I'm pretty sure that you have at home, but it doesn't have to be this one you can go with. I know Morphe has a lot of brown colors, the Sephora Pros. Uh, you can even go with the Self Glam by Anastasia. You can go with single eyeshadows as well from like either MAC or Anastasia or Makeup Forever. So go with something a little bit brown. Brownish. And the first step, I'm actually going to uh, use the lightest shade, which is a white, and put it all over my lid. So for a fall makeup, for sure you want something with bold lips. That's a makeup I always go for fall, but you can definitely go with the, either a brownish or nude lipstick. But you know me, I love my either like red or burgundy lips color, so... Oh, my hair doesn't look like a mess. There's a little bit of humidity in the air. That's why I have curly hair popping out. <laughs> okay, so now that the base is pretty much done, I'm going to go with the lightest shade here, the brownish color, and put it all over my lid and focus upwards. We're kind of doing a soft, smoky eye today to go with the uh, bright burgundy lipstick. And then you want to make sure to apply it even on your eye. Now I'm going with this color here because I'm afraid that this one has a little bit uh, too much red in it. So I'm going with a neutral brown and same thing going on top of it. And we're kind of building the eyeshadow this is a technique that you can pretty much use with any eyeshadow so any eyeshadow palette as long as you blend you are good to go here you go and then with another brush because this one is kind of fluffy and big with another one that is pointy i'm going with the darkest shade of the palette so a dark brown and I'm going to focus mostly on the out, um, outer corner of my eyes a bit. Same thing on the other side because I'm going to use the camel color uh, all over. But you still want to create dimension. So I'm focusing on the outer corner and then I'm going back with my brush and just blend everything out. So you see it adds a little bit of dimension and then you can build it up as you wish and I'm gonna go all over just to create a tiny base 
once this is done, so I kind of like the intensity, you can go with something a little bit darker if you want something a little bit uh, more intense. Uh, so now I'm going to go with the kind of uh, camo color, which is the middle one right here. I find that this one is too peachy, so I'm going to go with the camo color. And I'm going to use kind of a flat brush and pat it all over. And don't worry guys, we're going to go with the darkest shade on top and then going back when you have the color with the darkest shade and then I'm going to intensify a tiny bit more in the outer corner and then blend, blend, blend Once this is done, I'm going back with the brownish shade and just a tiny bit more because I want a little bit darker and then you build it up as you want. I have like five different eyeshadow brushes. Here you go, a little bit more because I like when it's dark in the corner. Here you go guys, I know it looks silly, but uh, as soon as I'll apply mascara and eyeliner, it's gonna look way better. So this is how I like it, again you can go a little bit darker. So now I'm gonna go with uh, some little bit of... Um, can't find my words today. So now I'm gonna do the face and I'm gonna go with the Le Beige uh, Sheer Health Glow Tinted Moisturizer and put a tiny bit on my hand. Ooh, that's not a tiny bit. <laughs> I like using this one with the Beauty Blender but uh, I'm going, my Beauty Blender is kind of dirty right now so I'm going with my Sephora brush, uh, so yeah, Sephora number 99 brush that is for foundation. My skin is so dry, so even though I prep my skin, I'm gonna put a little bit more of um, hydrating primer because I feel that my skin has no more, no more hydration, no more nothing. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going with the foundation. So this one is kind of a light uh, to medium coverage. I love the finish. I bought this one during summertime, so um, I wanted something really lightweight for my face. Uh, this is definitely going to work for fall. If you want a little bit more coverage, just use this one and then go on top with a little bit of concealer. Here we go, so the base is done. I don't know if you can see how my face looks so light compared to the rest of my body. It's because I put a lot of sunscreen on my face to protect my face and I put it on the shoulder, but it's just, it's the first thing that the sun hits. So that's why it's really light compared to my face. So now that the base is done, I'm going with a little bit of concealer uh, for the under eye and for here a bit just to add a bit of coverage but if you feel comfortable uh, this way you can definitely use it only for the under eye now I'm gonna do a little bit of contour and apply a little bit of blush and of course highlight because now I look silly <laughs> without the dimension so I'm gonna go with the nude air bronzer and just do a little bit of contour and bronze and adding dimension to my face. I also had a lot of question of people saying like what's the difference between bronzing and contouring. So uh, let me know in the comments below if it's something that you're wondering yourself and you have no clue what's the difference or even if you know the difference but you're not sure um, how to you how to do bronzing or how to do contouring so I did a how to contour uh, probably a, a year ago <laughs> and if you would like I'm gonna do a difference between bronzing and contour 
You see now I look a little bit healthy and glowy. Well, not glowy yet because I didn't apply the <laughs> highlight, but soon I'll look glowy. Okay, now a little bit of blush. Um, so I'm going to go with the nude stick and put a little bit of uh, blush. Uh, it's a cream blush and uh, after I'm going to go with the highlight. Okay, now highlight. I'm going to go with the, uh, like I mentioned in, um, in my intro, I'm going to go with the, um, the new Selena Gomez lipstick, but I want to buy the uh, highlight, so it's kind of a liquid highlight because you know I love highlight, so I'm going to go with this color here, and uh, yeah, I wanted to get the highlight from Selena Gomez, so uh, let me know if I should, if you want to see it, or if you do have it and uh, it's not worth it, so... I would love to have your opinion on it, if it's a purchase that I should do or not. On the night, I'm in here, oh, I feel here we see a bit, so I'm gonna go with the concealer. So you see how glowy I am? So just to cover here, I didn't see this little guy. <laughs> and then blend, blend, blend. Okay, a little bit better, right? Okay, so now I'm gonna go with a little bit of eyeliner and mascara and I'm also going to add a little bit of eyeshadow under the eye, so I will be right back. <laughs> so you see how the mascara, the eyeliner and I put a little bit of eyeshadow at the bottom of my eye. Now it's time... Okay, I'm still glowing. And by the way, I did my brows as well, just in case you're wondering if I'm skipping. So um, this is kind of the attention of this video. It's the new lipstick from uh, Selena Gomez. So it's the Lip Souffle Crème à Lèvres Matte in color uh, strengthen. So I really like the philosophy behind the brand. I'm not a fan of Selena Gomez in general. I find that she's a great artist, she's a great person, but I'm not like a big fan. Uh, but I uh, used the product before and I find it's really nice that she came up with her uh, own brand of uh, makeup and that she only focused on few items in general. And I am so happy that she's actually, she brought makeup, but it's actually so that everyone can feel better. Like even her makeup is really like pure, I would say. And I know that a little bit of money goes to the mental health, if I'm not mistaken. So you're uh, buying makeup, but it's also for a good cause. Her packaging is really nice and simple. I love like the gold writing. I only got the lipstick and um, maybe I should get the highlight, maybe I should wait, I'm waiting for you guys. So I went with a plum color. Originally, I wanted to go with the orangey color that she's wearing on her commercial, but um, we're in September, fall, so that's why I went with a more fall color. So I love the application, it's kind of a triangle. I, I'm gonna wait that it dries matte because it's supposed to dry matte but this is the finish look so as you can see it's really fall pumpkin spice kind of vibe so the dark lipstick and then the orangey and a little bit smoky uh, eye so I really hope that you enjoyed it let me know in the comments below if you like those makeup look even though I tend to do a little bit of fashion videos. I'm really happy that you liked those ones. Don't forget to give this uh, video a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. It helps me uh, so much and you'll be part of the community. So I will see you soon. Take care of yourself, take care of your family, and I will see you next week. Bye guys. Mwah.